What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, uh, we did the first of the stuff in the kitchen, and and then uh, basically the gist of it is we did the first three chapters in the library. This part, we're going to do the uh, first uh, galaxy in the uh, kitchen. But uh, if I can, you know, get up there, because Luigi's a lot wonky to control. I was not kidding when I said that. But uh, anyway, so in this part, we're gonna do the. Uh, the uh, Beach Bowl Galaxy, so we might as well get that taken out of the way, which uh, I actually am not really the biggest fan. I'd say there's another water galaxy that's worse than this, but uh, yeah, water level is not my strength in Mario games. Star number one is Sunken Treasure, but uh, yeah, star level, water levels in Mario games uh, are really not my uh, cup of tea, whether it's 2D Mario or 3D Mario, just not cup of tea. However, I should also introduce the uh, swimming controls and how they differ from when you're playing as Luigi and when you're playing as Mario. First of all, I think you have to go to the. Uh, first of all, I think you have to go to this penguin right here. The students are distracted by the sparkly. So yeah, the. Uh, the I'm thinking of a. I was thinking of a different mission, but essentially we have to uh, use the uh, thing now. Over. Luigi swims faster than Mario, however, he depletes air faster, and if you spin like this, it just deplete, it depletes your air even faster, so Luigi can't really last as long underwater as, say, Mario, and uh, not only that, um, if you get a bubble, it'll uh, refill your air to max, so uh, yeah, um, little tip uh, about that, but uh, yeah, Luigi, I'd say, depl depletes air faster than Mario, and especially when he, um, especially when he, uh, what am I trying to say, especially when he spins like that. So, uh, that's a good tactic to use if you're playing as Mario, but you can't really spin as much as Luigi because it depletes your air faster, so. Anyway, so, um. One thing I've actually heard that's actually particularly scary is a shallow water blackout, where it's like, uh, I think it's like because you have too much nitrogen in your body, but it's essentially like, um, it's essentially like when you're diving down, like, in, like, uh, a body of water, and, uh, because I think there's too much nitrogen in your body, you lose consciousness, and I just think that's a scary thought, which, uh, is something I've read about, which, uh, is kind of scary to think about, let's just say, but, uh, Anyway, we're up here. However, if we go up here... More musical notes. Uh, excuse me! Alright, let's continue that. Alright, we made it just in time, and, uh... Now, you could do this the normal way. You could go up there the normal way. However, I just like to, uh... I prefer to cheat and go like this, and plus grab the one up before it, uh... And, uh, go like this. And we're eventually gonna get our way to the star, so, um... And, uh, that is star number one for us. And there is gonna be another one of those prankster comments, but... There are also second prankster comments in the world, but I'll tackle those more later. But, uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, star number two, and, uh in a Beach Bowl Galaxy, which, uh, is actually the one I was thinking was the first, but, uh... Hungry Luma has appeared! So what we get to do now is, uh... We get to do that later, so, uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do now is, uh... Beach Bowl Galaxy... R2, which, uh, this is the star I was thinking was the first one, but, uh... There's also a secret star in this, uh, star, but, uh, essentially, uh, passing the swim pass. This is the one I was thinking of the first time. We have to go to the, uh, we have to go to that, uh, that giant penguin. That was the same penguin from the Loopy Loop Galaxy, if you believe it. I do like this music, though, even if I, although I'm not particularly a fan of this world, like, I do like this music right here anyway, so he says, um... You here to take the swimming school's final swim test? Yes. In this test, you must collect shells in the ocean. If you bring me the gold shell, it's an automatic A for you, so one of these... If you want to end this star quicker, um... 
One of these swimming penguins, uh, if we can find out where they are, there's going to be a group of swimming penguins. And uh, one of them's going to have the gold shell. They won't have the gold shell unless you talk to the, uh, the penguin, uh, which uh, we can flat out steal it from him. Make sure you don't uh, spin the Wii Remote again because you'll get rid of the shell and you'll have to get it over again. But, uh... but anyway, now we give it to him. Amazing! I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. And again, a gold medal to Power Star, and uh, next up to Jesper, do you even want to see You know, just for that comment, get hit in the balls. <laughs> now let's get a star. Yeah. We essentially have one more gut. We have another, we have a secret star to do, but uh, yeah. I think it's easy to get that secret star. You can get it in star number two, but I think we'll just get it after star number three, so uh, we discovered a new galaxy, and, uh, we discovered a new galaxy, oh yeah, let's go, baby, and, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, the beach ball galaxy, we, I might be able to squeeze, I don't think this galaxy takes particularly long, so maybe I could squeeze in this, because I love that, that not galaxy, anyway, the third star is the secret NFC cavern, Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is, uh, again, we have to take a... There's going to be Cooper Shells out in the open, so um, what we can do now is basically take this Cooper Shell. We have to find a secret way out, but thankfully I know from years of playing this game where it is. Right here. It's going to go into this underground area. That you, you know, I guess the best thing about this galaxy... I think that the other water galaxy in this world, this game is worse. Because this one can get done pretty quickly, and I forgot to realize how quickly you can get it done, but, uh... Those, are, those enemies, even though I don't know their official names, they always remind me of the keys in Zelda. Excuse me! Anyway, so, um... Now, uh, this is a little, uh, side game. Now, if you get crushed by any of these enemies die hard, you can take a shortcut right here, get a one-up, so you can get, essentially get into a life loop. There's gonna be a brand new type of prankster comet associated with this, uh, level as well, but I'm not sure if it's gonna show up right away, so if it doesn't show up right away, I'll just do the secret star. Come on, move! No! Don't move myth me! <laughs> He like the dick carried me up top, but uh Now you wanna kinda know where they're uh know where they're kinda uh They're gonna lie like that because that's generally the safe spot with these enemies. Now I can kind of uh now don't get squished by that swamp, which good. We got another star. I might be able to squeeze in Booby Base Galaxy as well. Which I just freaking spoiled with. I love when I spoil over 20 year old games because, like, I, I have an audience that, let's just say, would not have been born yet when this game came out. So, uh. Yeah, but yeah, the, uh. The unlockable galaxy we just unlocked is, uh, Booby Base Galaxy. Anyway, so, um, I guess I'll save during the surprise. I, I generally know these recordings are successes because I always do test recordings and all that, so, uh, test with games that I'll save. But anyway, so we're gonna do that, uh, what we're gonna do now is, uh, we're gonna do that secret star, which you, we just go to star three and pick up a shell. You can do it in star two, but it's harder because you need the gold shell. But anyway, um,. I almost 
I thought that was a body of water I felt weird. I guess I was going away from body of water, but um... Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is take this pupa shell and uh... Let's try to see if I can uh... There's some nice star bits we can get. Unfortunately though, we haven't gotten many star bits in this world, but uh... But anyway, we uh, kind of take the shell and uh... There's gonna be a chest. And it's over here. And there's a uh, launch star. Oh, look at the music that plays, by the way. More music directly lifted from uh, Mario 3, even though both games were made by Nintendo, but uh, most games recycled from Mario 3, but uh... That's actually the same song that played in the uh... That's the same song that played in the uh... Sweet, sweet galaxy, but uh... No! Anyway, if those catacombs fall in the uh... Water, they have to respawn. So, uh, yeah, they're essentially they're from uh, the cataracts from Mario Sunshine, which they don't damage you like they do in Mario. Though with Sunshine, it's the red cataracts that uh, damage you. But uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm not going too fast. You gotta kind of lure those guys. I don't. I'm not a particular fan of cataracts, regardless of what game they're in. Because anyway. There's a new power-up, and this is the Ice Claw. It's actually the Ice Claw's first appearance, not New Super Mario's Wii. Turn to Ice Luigi. Anyway, so we gotta, um, get up there, and, uh, we gotta... Eventually it's gonna, eventually it's gonna run out, so, um... Which we got that, so that's essentially the... You don't want to fall off, especially here, but I don't know why you would, but, uh... Anyways, so we gotta get this cataract over to the uh, ice thing. Be careful because these uh, giant ice things also they destroy the ice things, and uh, we have to kind of get this cataract over here. And uh, we got our star. We all cut to the uh, Daredevil star, not the Daredevil star. A new chapter has been added to the storybook, by the way, which we'll tackle that at the end of this video, but, uh... But anyway, so, yeah, the, I, guess I, I guess I didn't even have to cut that footage after all, but, uh... I guess I don't have to cut that out of the video, but, uh... Anyway, this is what is called a Fast Foe Comet, and, uh... So it's essentially the Fast Foes, but essentially these enemies that can squish you are faster. Alrighty, so we're, again, we're gonna take the shortcut. Because it skips a good half of the level, let's just say, and uh, again, this is the save spot. So again, uh, as long as we can touch the save spot, we should be fine and not deal with gravity issues like that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay, I saved myself. So that's the other way you can die in this level, falling in the black hole, same the obvious right there. All right. All right. This one's gonna... All right, uh, I really gotta concentrate so I don't die, but uh, anyway, so what, we got that star, so... I guess we can end this video by, uh, not exactly by buoy based reality, we'll have to get the next part, but uh, we'll do that in the, we'll do the fourth chapter in Rosalina's of the book. It's all cut to win the library. Anyway, so now in the library, um, let's try to see if we can get through chapter four of Rosalina's book. It's gonna say the same text, but let us begin. I'll try to put on my narration skills once again. Chapter four, The Dream. One night, a girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked her mother, retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you like the sun, the day, and the moon, and the night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. 
I will turn with star on the crowd and wait for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry and scream, Mama, oh mama, wah. The pair traveled through the starry sky and through the encounter and many other comets. Not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma, the lame rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said. Giving Luma a squeeze, I'll give your presence to stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. That should do it for today. Anyway, so I was not exaggerating in the last part, but this, uh, this, uh, part, let's just, this book essentially gets dark, darker and darker the later we get, so, uh, yeah, so I think I'll cut it off with this part of, uh, Super Luigi Galaxy, so, uh, next time on, uh, Super Luigi Galaxy, as we go into the, uh, kitchen once again, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're gonna do more in the kitchen. See you guys then.